Shalom. Welcome to today's reflection. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for such a time as this. We pray that you speak to us expressly and help us to be renewed in the spirit of our mind that we may prove your good and acceptable and perfect will for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. So the theme for today's reflection is an approved servant of God. And the passage is the second epistle of Paul to Timothy, chapter 2, verses 14 to 24. Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord not to strive about words to no profit, to the ruin of the errors. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and idle babblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness, and their message will spread like cancer. Hemenios and Philetus are of this sort, who have strayed concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past, and they overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands, having this seal. The Lord knows those who are ease, and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But avoid foolish and ignorant disputes, knowing that they generate strife. And the servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient. This is the word of the Lord. The theme again is an approved servant of God. In Luke chapter 10, verses 1 to 20, Jesus sent out his disciples for the propagation of the gospel. And upon their return, excitement rent the air for the joy of having the demons submit to them. But in verse 20, Jesus warned them, saying, Do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Indeed, the signs and wonders are important. Miracles following our works are good too. People sowing their seeds as signs that they are blessed are also testimonies. But every child of God should know that the goal should be for God to approve his or our work. In the passage this morning, Paul knew that the anointing would be greatly functional in the young boy Timothy and warned him ahead not to be carried away in its excitement and lose balance in the faith. He must be holy and keep himself spotless if he will receive the reward of his labors. Indeed, the Lord of harvest is sending laborers into his vineyard, but not all servants of God are showing themselves approved in their studies and dispositions. So let us be that our Father who called us into the work as rewards for everyone. Don't misuse the grace. God does not measure his approved servant by level or heights of degrees of academic learning nor high offices attained, or brilliancy of charismatic disposition and human philosophy. He seeks that his servants are sincere in heart and able to handle the word of truth, not preaching with falsehood and hypocrisy. Godless chatter and arguments lead to subtle apostasy and ungodliness. Sanctification will make us vessels of honor for noble use by God. It is very easy to be a famous preacher and church worker, but disapproved and ignoble before God. Are you an approved servant? If no, make amends now. God knows his people. This is the reflection for today. Our memory verse is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a workman who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Let us take this prayer together. Lord, give me the grace to remain pure and true, holy 
and approved servant of yours in this corrupt generation in Jesus' name.